four six at three nine Quebec, uh, Lafayette Tower. Report the midfield left downwind. Tower Vader nine seven wire inbound. Vader ninety seven report the midfield left downwind. Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Purdue University Airport is a small to medium-sized, primarily general aviation airport located on the west edge of the city of Lafayette, Indiana. It is used primarily by corporate and general aviation aircraft. Opened in 1930 as the first university-owned airport in the country, the airport is home to Purdue University's nationally known flight school, which offers instruction from pre-solo all the way through air transport pilot. The mix of aircraft capabilities and pilot experience make Lafayette a complex and challenging environment. The runway configuration consists of two intersecting runways, the larger runway 1028 and the smaller 523. The taxiway system provides access to all services and facilities located on the north side of the airport. Hotspot 1 is located at the intersection of taxiways Charlie, Bravo, and Bravo 3 and is located in close proximity to runway 523. Aircraft taxiing out of the ramp area for runway 10 and instructed Runway 10 Taxi Vio Bravo Charlie have missed the turn from Bravo on to Charlie and found themselves on runway 1028 without appropriate clearance. A complete understanding of taxi routes, turns, and hold short instructions before taxiing will help eliminate these type of errors. In a similar situation, aircraft landing runway 23 and instructed to turn right Bravo 3, contact ground, have missed the turn at Bravo 3 and turned onto runway 1028. In both cases, pilots are reminded that you must have a clearance to utilize any runway, active or not. There are several issues that the transient pilot should be aware of at Lafayette. 1. When taxiing from the ramp area to runway 23 via Bravo 1, be aware that there are no movement, non-movement area markings. The hold short line for runway 23 is well back from the runway and short of where the pilots might think Bravo 1 begins. 2. When issued an intersection departure on runway 28 at Bravo, some pilots have turned onto Bravo 3 and onto runway 23. This conflicts with traffic operating on runway 523. 3. Due to the airport layout, it may be necessary for ATC to meter traffic into or out of the ramp, utilizing taxiways Charlie, Delta, or Bravo, depending on the traffic flow. This normally occurs during periods of heavy flight school traffic. Transient pilots need to be aware of this when arriving or departing Lafayette. 4. Taxiways Charlie and Bravo are the primary access route to the ramp area for arrivals on runway 10. During periods of heavy arrival traffic, pilots expecting runway 10 for departure may encounter ramp delays until demand reduces. The Purdue University Flight School and the ATC Tower have worked out several reporting points to help with traffic flow. None of these are depicted on the VFR sectional chart. Transient pilots inbound to the field and issued a reporting point not on the chart simply need to advise the tower that they are not familiar and ATC will provide alternate instructions. Being aware of the hot spots and other configuration issues at Lafayette will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the ATC tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Purdue University Airport. It's always better to know before you go.